Today I'll be showing you guys how to change your multi-character from the default version and showing you how to customize some options on the one I'm switching to. This multi-character has been around for some time now and isn't new, but I figured it's a good example. I'll make another video showcasing another one I found, and I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once we're here, we're going to hit the green code and download zip. Once that's done, we're going to open it up, and we're also going to open our server resources and go to the QB folder. Once we're here, find QB multi character and delete it. Then we're going to drag the one we just downloaded in and remove the main from the end. From here, we're going to go into the resource and take a look at some of the options in the config. In the config, you can change whether players have apartments by default or not, the location of the spawn, the camera cores. And you can change the amount of characters players have. By default, it's set to 5. If you want certain people to be able to have more characters, you just put their license here and the number of characters you want them to have. Now, at this point, you can start your server and test it out. The next part is completely optional, which involves changing the look of the multi-character, changing the colors and the logo and all that. So, if you decided to stick around, we're going to go back to the resource. We're going to go into the HTML section. And the first thing I will note is there is music when you're loading in. I don't like the music. Um, you can change it in the code, but I just delete the music file. Another thing will be the logo. By default, it's this and called QB Pixel. If you do want to change it, I recommend just getting whatever picture you want and changing the name to QB Pixel so it's easily replaceable. I've already done that, so I'll just drag it over and replace the file. Next, we're going to go into the style CSS. Right, once you're in here, you can start changing the colors, so keep in mind of the color scheme or theme you want to go with. I will say it's very tedious. Um, what I like to do is Control F, copy one of the colors, paste it here, then find a new color, and I'm going to do a blue theme, and then copy the new color, paste it here, and then do replace all. And this one and that one change. You can keep repeating these steps until you're done or satisfied. After that, you can start your server and test it out. I'll keep at it and show you guys the end result. All right, so I've loaded into the server and this is the end result. Obviously there are some colors I still need to go back and fix. And that'll be it for the video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord, the link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.